as Indians, it is a proud moment for all of us as we celebrate the successful mission of Chandrayaan 3 with absolute precision on 23rd August 2023. As the Vikram touched down on the surface of Moon and the Pragyan rover rolled out, it was we who all of us back home here felt as if we touched the moon surface with our own hands. It was a great sense of purpose, great sense of feeling and an amazing technological accomplishment. This successful mission begins the journey of India's future in the outer space. This reassures our own unique capabilities and our abilities to wipe out the limitations in our own imagination, in our hopes and in our aspirations. On behalf of all the industries, partners, to ISRO in this great mission, we at FIKI congratulate ISRO and thank ISRO for making India proud and commit that we as Indian industry are always with ISRO on any of their great future missions. Jai Hind, Jai Bhat. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The past few years, the private space ecosystem in India has taken the first significant step to making sure that we contribute effectively to the growth of the space sector, not just in India, but also abroad. At Dhruva Space, we strongly believe in the motto of easing access to space for everyone because space applications benefit the mankind immensely, be it with images that have been captured, with communication networks which have been enabled, or all of the applications that support urbanization, growth, sustainability, and so much more. This first National Space Day in India, I would like to congratulate the entire ecosystem, the government, and commend the step of making the Indian space policy. For everyone, for all citizens of India, I would like to convey one simple message. Explore the space sector as much as you can. The data, the benefits and the applications will tremendously help us contribute to national growth. And I hope that by the second National Space Day, we all have found a way to work together to explore how we can contribute to the growth of the ecosystem in India and be global leaders in the space sector. Thank you, everyone. I am happy to know that FIKI is celebrating India's Space Day. On this day, India landed its, its Chandrayaan on the moon, that too on the south pole of the moon. And HIL, as an HILite, we are proud to be associated with this Chandrayaan program. On 15th August 1969, India's Space Odyssey started with Vikram Sarabhai establishing ISRO. HL has been a part of ISRO space missions from the beginning of from the beginning. Whether it is making the satellites like starting from Aryabhata to the latest insats, HL has been with ISRO. And all the space vehicles we are joining together to make India's space odyssey a success. I wish on this day all the India space mission a grand success and especially ISRO and its scientists. And HL will be there with ISRO in taking at India's space program forward. Hello everyone, my name is Rohan, one of the founders of Bellatrix Aerospace, one of the first space technology companies to come out of India. Today we celebrate National Space Day to reflect on the success, remarkable success of Chandrayaan 3 mission and the successful landing on the surface of the moon to become one of, uh, four, one of the only four countries to ever achieve this feat. At the same time, we should also be proud to celebrate the remarkable success ISRO has had over the last 60 years demonstrating great resilience and uh, innovative spirit in uh, bringing out space technology for the global good. Our Honorable Prime Minister has had this vision to include space as one of the major pillars to make India a 5 to 7 trillion dollar economy. So we as industry with the new space policy which has come out are gearing up to um, cater to the global uh, needs in this field of space. As you know, space has no boundaries visible and um, so that is truly an only global industry. Yes, thank you very much. Congratulations on National Space Day 2024. August 23 is a remarkable milestone for a uh, soft and you know, successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 mission in the country. Geospatial technologies plays a very important role in the nation development. 
we at Asari India are committed to support our government and private users to make best use of geospatial technology for the nation development. At Isri India, we have also taken initiatives around capacity building and making the data available for the users. So we have set up Indo ArcGIS Living Atlas on India Cloud, wherein data is published as a service and users can use it. We also started the program called Master Mentor Geospatial in India, wherein we are inculcating geospatial thinking in the students so that whenever they get into any profession, they can make best use of geospatial technology and space science for the country development. Thank you very much. And once again, congratulations on National Space Day. Hello, everybody. I am Pranit, one of the co-founders at Galaxy. Very happy to be sharing this video message with you all on the occasion of our first National Space Day as a country. This is on the successful uh, demonstration and mission completion of Chandrayaan and today we are here to celebrate various other milestones and growth journeys that the space ecosystem of India has been taking both by ISRO and several other private players. As Galaxy, while we are putting up our own constellation of satellites, we strongly believe in the potential that this technology holds and look forward to making more and more impact with such uh, technology and solutions. Once again, happy to be part of the Space Day celebrations. Thank you. On this first Space Day, I wish to emphasize the requirement of capacity building programs in this domain, utilizing the new and emerging technologies and tools such as AI and ML. The liberalized geospatial policy and the new space policy have enabled the Indian industry to take up collaborative activities with the government in providing the requisite products, solutions, services and platforms for various users both within and outside the government. The rich resource in the form of geospatial data and also the infrastructure such as CORS have to be effectively utilized. I wish the Space Day a grand success. Thank you. Gaurav Rai and I want to congratulate everybody on the National Space Day. It's a day of pride for all of us in the space and geospatial industry who have seen India make wonderful strides in this sector and trying and aiming to become a market leader in this space. Now, as Arhas and also as an individual, I would like to contribute more and more to sustainability using geospatial AI and the conjunction of space tech. I also would like to congratulate and encourage all the industry colleagues to put in their best to make India number one in the sector. Once again, wishing everybody a wonderful National Space Day. Hearty congratulations to every Indian, ISRO and the Indian ecosystem on the occasion of National Space Day. Centum Electronics is associated with Indian space programs for the last 25 years. Being a leading electronics space industry with around 600 people working exclusively in design, engineering and manufacturing of modules, subsystems, systems and payloads, Centum has contributed to all the space missions since 2000. Especially in Chandrayaan-3, Centum had around 250 modules and subsystems, both in lander, rover and the launcher. State of the infrastructure enables Centum to take up key role in enhancing the future Indian space economy. Congratulations once again to all the Indians. Thank you. As India celebrates its first ever National Space Day, it's a very proud moment for all of us, those who are from the space and geospatial community. This day not only marks our achievements in the upstream sector like planning and designing, also the operations of the spacecrafts, but also those who are from the downstream segment, making a very meaningful impact in the lives of the people by developing the value added use cases utilizing this geospatial data. Wishing you all a very happy National Space Day. Thank you. Hello all. This is Murali Krishna, 
ex isro scientist today we are celebrating the national science day marking the lunar landing on this day of august 23rd in 2023 it's a great achievement for india and every indian can feel proud of this achievement it's just a beginning there are many more things to come including gaganyaan and our own space station i wish isro and all supporting industry a great success and many more technological achievements in coming years jai